humans evolved in Africa. Most people stand by that because it's been spoken and assumed for a long time that almost all species of humans, even the Homo sapiens or the modern humans, came to being in the hot continent known as Africa. These species inhabited this continent from north to south and east to west before they migrated out and started wandering other places on this planet and leaving their fossils behind. But is that really it? Does the research stop there? The answer is no. Some scientists went to great extents to say that humans may have evolved from southern Europe. The split from our ape ancestors took place millions of years ago. With that common knowledge, some researchers say that it did not happen in Africa but in fact it took place in southern Europe. What made them think this is because an international team of paleoanthropologists analyzed the 7.2 million year old remains of the hominin holding the name Gregopithecus freibergi found by von Freiburg and came to the conclusion that they belong to pre-humans. The fossils of this species were uncovered from Athens, Greece and Asmaka, Bulgaria. These researchers analyzed the mandibles of this species and saw that the molars resembled that of not only the modern humans but also the early humans and several pre-humans including Ardipithecus and Australopithecus. The feature that led them to this conclusion was the fused and converging roots of the molars instead of the separate and diverging ones found mostly in great apes. This was accepted because studies show that the root of the teeth is not an adaptation feature but rather a genetic polymorphism. This species was said to be older than Sahil Anthropus chidensis, which are the first known ancestors of us and that it dates back to 7.2 million years ago while S. chidensis dates back to around 7 million years ago, suggesting the human ape split all began in Europe. It didn't end there. Questions started coming up. Other researchers say that even if the fossils may be of pre-human, the Mediterranean region may have not been habitable at the time. So they started collecting more fossils of plants and even fragments of charcoal. At first, they created a hypothetical environment where the species could have survived while studying the phytoliths and the study provided evidence of severe droughts and the charcoal analysis indicates recurring vegetation fires reconstructing somewhat of a savanna where not only the species could live in but also many animals such as giraffes, gazelles, antelopes and the rhinoceros. They called this hypothesis the North Side Story. This information made the puzzle of human evolution even more complicated with some assumptions that even if the split occurred in Europe, the early ancestors might have moved back to Africa. It is impossible to draw a clean line of lineage. Looking back in time to glean our origins millions of years ago was never going to be an easy task. There are always more and more missing links and maybe only more fossils and older fossils will help us solve this big puzzle. So thanks for watching guys. Do tell us what you think of this hypothesis in the comment section down below. For more videos on human species and their origin and timeline, do check our channel as we have made many videos on them. So until then, continue to give us your love and support by liking our videos and subscribing to the channel. See you soon in our next video.